If you're Puerto Rican, you should know who this man is. This is Catalino Tite Curet Alonso, also known as Don Tite, and he wrote over 2,000 salsa songs. After studying journalism at the University of Puerto Rico, Don Tite got a job working at the post office, a job that he kept for over 20 years. In 1960, he moved to New York City and began working as a sports journalist. He also started composing music for Joe Quijano, creating the song Efectivamente, which later became a hit. His name began getting circulated around in the songwriting community because of it, and he ended up writing music for Saya Cruz, La Lupe, Tito Puente, Ruben Blades, and Hector Lavoe. His music also had an air of political activism to it, often using his talents to discuss the socio-political and economic issues of Afro-Puerto Ricans on the island. And he's most known for creating the song Las Caras Lindas de Mi Gente Negra, The Beautiful Faces of My Black People. And it was performed by Ismael Rivera. Y la cara linda de mi gente negra. Despite the fact that the songs he created sold millions of records, his royalties were minimal. According to his family, he was tricked into signing contracts that favored record labels. And for over a decade, because of copyright issues, his music was banned from Puerto Rican radio stations. And in 2003, Don Tite died of a heart attack while in Baltimore. 